Exactly halfway through the home and away season and our round 13 match of the day saw Subiaco travel down to East Fremantle Oval to take on the Inform Sharks. Subiaco had lost their last six matches and really need to do something to reverse that trend in order to get their season back on track. They needed to hit the scoreboard early and show some early form so that uh, they could get the momentum they needed to take on a side like East Fremantle who had won their last two games in very convincing fashion. East Fremantle started well with young Sean Henson, an Inform player himself, kicking a goal from long range and getting the Sharks on the scoreboard early to get their confidence up. Getting up also was Stephen Dodd, but not holding the mark. The ball went through his hands and it was taken by Reese Waters. It was very close for the goal umpire to judge, but Reese Waters kicked his first of four goals for the afternoon in a very good display for the Lions indeed. Another goal for Robbie Forrest and Subiaco were not only being competitive, they were leading the way in sometimes inclement conditions and sometimes the skill level wasn't very high, but it was a determined Subiaco who were so keen to reverse the trend of six defeats and they certainly looked as though they were going to continue their good form over many years against East Fremantle, whether at home or away. The Sharks, being the good side they are, continue to, continue to pepper away at the goals. That was a terrific goal by young Kieran King, but unfortunately they missed a lot of their opportunities over the course of the afternoon. They kicked 19 behinds. Brock O'Brien, one solo effort was quite outstanding, gathering the footy and running to just outside 50, kicking a long-range goal. And that really lifted the Sharks and got their supporters showing plenty of voice. Across the half-back line, Jack Anthony was outstanding. And Des Headland, a player certainly in the twilight of his career, made the most of his few opportunities and kicked a couple of incredibly timely goals. They led by eight points at quarter time, by just three at half time, but an outstanding third quarter in which Brant Chambers kicked a couple of goals, one of them from right on the goal line, saw them lead by 32 points with a quarter to play, but East Fremantle would not be denied. They continued to fire away at goal, but unfortunately missed so many of their opportunities, whereas Brant Chambers and the Subiaco players continued to take their opportunities. The final quarter was a real arm wrestle, and East Fremantle continued to reduce the margin. And and they got to within six points. A fantastic goal by Mark McGough. Got it to that margin, but unfortunately time was against East Fremantle and they failed in the end in a very valiant attempt. The final margin for Subiaco was six points. They ran out winners 13 goals, 7, 85 to East Fremantle's 10 goals, 19, 79. Well, next week we travel to Medibank Stadium. Our match of the day in round 14 is Subiaco versus Claremont, an important one for the science to, Lions to see if they can go back-to-back -back against Claremont, who had the bye this weekend.